All right, cool. Um, next turn, we can no longer take damage ever. All right, this is this could be stupid. My fair citizens of Sodium City, we have no touchy. This is a deck that I believe we just kind of improved from yesterday's video. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure to go check that out. It's very similar to what it is, but we made it much better and we added a combo that we just kind of manifested. And I'm pretty sure other people have thought of this combo or done it in the past. Uh, if they have, I haven't seen it. But I believe I've heard of it before. I just, again, I haven't seen anybody use it. The win condition is going to be Approach of the Second Sun. Now, Approach of the Second Sun, it's a relatively easy win condition when you're just running in uh, white and blue. Uh, if you don't want to run Teferi and do all this other, other boring shit. Um, Approach of the Second Sun is nice. It's a seven mana sorcery. Whenever you cast it, if you have cast another spell called Approach of the Second Sun this game, you win the game. So this is really cool. There's a couple ways to win with this. We can cast Approach of the Second Sun, and when it's on the stack, we can cast Narset's Reversal, which is you copy target instant or sorcery spell, then return that spell to its owner's hand, and then you may choose new targets for the copy. So we're gonna cast Approach of the Second Sun, then we can cast Narset's Reversal to put it back into our hand, and then the Approach of the Second Sun initial card goes off, we gain seven life, blah, blah, blah. And then next turn, we get to cast Approach of the Second Sun. That's the second time we win the game at that point in time. When we cast Approach of the Second Sun the first time, we will just gain seven life and then we will put it seventh from the top of our library so that we will just have to draw or scry in order to get it and then cast again. And that's a lot of the reason that we just play Narsa Traversal because it just puts it back into our hand and makes it really easy. So that is the main part of the win condition. We just win with Approach of the Second Sun. Now, we only have two of them. Everything else is more control-based, not running counter spells unless you count Narset's Reversal as one, but not really. This is going to be a combo involving Tefri's Protection, Narset's Reversal, and Primal Amulet. So Primal Amulet is one of my favorite cards. If you're new to the channel, you'll see Primal Amulet decks all over the place, right? So Primal Amulet, it's just a four mana artifact that does nothing technically, uh, but instant and sorcery spells that you cast cost one colorless less to cast. So this is just great in general, right? But whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you're gonna put a charge counter on Primal Amulet. Then, then if there are four or more charge counters on it, you may remove those and then transform it. When it's transformed, it's then Primal Wellspring. You can tap that, it's a land, you can tap it to add a mana of any color, and if that mana is used to cast an instant or sorcery, you copy that spell. Now, copying the spell is exactly what we need because we're also using Tefri's Protection, which is a three mana instant. Until your next turn, your life total can't change and you gain protection from everything and all permanents you control phase out completely. So this is just ridiculous because if they have a ton of creatures or they have board wipes or whatever it is that they may have, they can't do anything to you. You are still vulnerable to things like Olamog um, or anything that says each opponent or each player, things like that. You are still vulnerable to that, but outside of that, you're immune to everything, right? So you cast that, and while that is floating on the stack, is what they all the cool kids call it, you're going to double cast. You're gonna use the mana from the flipped primal amulet to cast Narset's Reversal. So what Narset's Reversal is, again, you copy an instant or sorcery spell, then return it to its owner's hand. You may choose new copies or new targets for the copy. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to copy Narset's Reversal with the mana from Primal Amulet. So Narset's Reversal, again, you're just gonna copy the instant or sorcery being Tefri's Protection, but since you're gonna be able to copy it with Primal Amulet, the copy of Narset's Reversal that you're going to get from that is also going to target Narset's Reversal. So the order is Tefri's Protection, and then tap mana from Primal Amulet, which is blue, and then cast Narset's Reversal, and then the copy of Narset's Reversal goes off, 
And then what you'll do is you'll target Narset's reversal with the copy. And then the next Narset's reversal trigger, you'll target your Tefri's protection. So what that will do is that will return your Narset's reversal card to your hand, and then will return your Tefri's protection card to your hand. However, you will still have the effect of Tefri's protection. So you will have your Narset's reversal back in your hand, and you will have your Tefri's protection back in your hand. So for five mana every single turn, you have protection from everything. Again, your Tefri's protection does not exile itself because Narset's removal puts it back into your hand. This is the combo. It's five mana once you get it off. So really your only issue is flipping the Primal Amulet, which can be easy and hard. There is a lot of artifact removal, but there's a lot less than there was a couple weeks ago. Um, there seems to be a lot more enchantment removal right now than artifact removal. So you will also want to keep that in mind. Um, but it's a really, really funny combo. People just can't do anything. There's literally nothing they can do. And you're really just going to loop this over and over and over again until you have lands to cast Approach of the Second Sun and still do the combo. Or whether you can Approach of the Second Sun, then Narset's Reversal that Approach, and then cast Approach again. Uh, so it's almost like taking infinite turns, but you're letting opponents cast all the cards. You're letting them do Planeswalker shit. You're letting them attack. They can do whatever they want. It's really, really cool, right? They just can't do anything to you. So it's great. And of course, with Primal Amulet, we are going to need a lot of spells uh, in order to transform it. And that's where all of our card advantage comes from. We're going to use two mana card advantage in Anticipate, Shimmer of Possibility, and then technically Tezzeret's Gambit at that point. Um, so once we have a Primal Amulet down, Tezzeret's Gambit then becomes a two colorless and a Phyrexian blue, which means you can just pay two life or a blue source for it. Um, and then... You'll draw two cards, then proliferate, which will then put an additional charge counter on Primal Amulet. So it's almost like two spells in one. It's fantastic. Uh, Shimmer Possibility to look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them in your hand, the rest at the bottom. Anticipate is an instant look at the top three, put one into your hand, the rest at the bottom of your library. This is just really cool because we can uh, find the exact cards that we need at the exact times that we need. It really helps dig for the primal amulets if we need them. It really helps dig for our combo pieces or our approaches because obviously if we cast a shimmer and an anticipate, that's seven cards deep. So if we cast uh, an approach of the second sun and then we cast a shimmer and an anticipate, we then have approach back into our hand that same turn. Uh, so there are a lot of possibilities just to be able to get to our approach of the second sun as quickly as possible but obviously this does help flip primal amulet even faster because once primal amulet's there everything costs one colorless less shimmer possibility is one blue mana anticipate is one blue mana and tezzeret's gambit is two colorless and one phyrexian blue or just two life so we're going to be paying two colorless and two life to draw two cards and put on technically two counters on primal amulet from that so it, it is a lot of a lot of a lot of value within this particular deck so i do like it a lot it worked out really well um so i'm gonna go on the record and say that it is the truth so if you want to take this deck and build it at home it's only going to run you 39 rares and nine mythics it's not terrible it's pretty bad it's pretty bad but the deck is worth it. This one is very good. I enjoy this deck a lot. If you want the current deck list, there's a link over to my Aether Hub page at the top right hand corner of this video. If you want the text based version, it will be down in the description below. If you want a link directly to the Aether Hub page, it will also be in the description below. And as for yesterday's comment question of the day, I asked you, have you ever tried to play an archetype that you don't normally play, but then you try to play it and it's just like a total clusterfuck? Here are your answers. And if you want your comment featured in these videos, make sure that you answer the comment question of the day every single day, seven days a week in the comment section below. Stay salty and enjoy the games. <laughs> yeah, all I did was rat their board. How could they be mad about that?
you had a whip be lost for three days and it hasn't gotten rescued yet? Oh. That's a big sad. It's 9 p.m. here. My youngest is already sleeping. My eldest. Well, he ain't stupid, but I hide it. <laughs> what is this supposed to do? Keep up a Narset's reversal. I don't know what they're doing yet. Alright, cool. Opponent's name. Supermind Power Man. <laughs> Pretty good. Kids are 9, 12, and 15. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers old. Feeling old, your daughter's 20. You're 37. Y'all motherfuckers old. I'm like 34, question mark? Yeah, 34. I'm 34. I'm still old. <laughs> I have no kids. Can no longer... I'm just going to tell people that I can't have kids anymore. That'll be good enough, right? What up, Samantha? How you doing? I kind of want to play the new Orcs Must Die. It looks like a fun game. I played a little bit of the first two. But that's about it. Guys of HRT. Kids are? I thought kids would be more expensive. Kids are fucking expensive as shit. Expensive as shit. Been playing the fuck out of Pokemon Unite. What is that? You bought it? Have you played it yet? I don't want to play it. Kids are expensive. It's a massive understatement. Yeah. I mean, I guess technically they're an investment. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it. Fuck kids. Can we get all the easy opponents? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I have no idea. Mark 86016 What's up, Mark? How you doing? Nice. Middle child is blind and autistic. Holy shit. Gets beyond expensive. It's like poverty level debt. Yeah, that, that wouldn't fucking surprise me in the slightest.
5897. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate the biddies. Oh, sorry. Holy shit. Ever seen this one? The Retriever? Yeah, the Retriever's great. I think they kept it on top, right? We're just gonna shuffle their library for them. Because why not? Wait, this is in Mythic? Are they playing this shit? Yeah. Dude, the percentage Mythic is like the easiest place to play Jank. Easiest. Easiest. Yeah. Especially in like the 80s. I don't know what the fuck this is though. Do you leave my primal amulet alone, please? Thank you. Thank you for leaving it alone, just as I asked. You're welcome. I didn't know you were going to be so complicit in that. Uh, they're going to make my ship more expensive? And then they're going to bring back, what, nothing that I care about? Hey. We're good. <laughs> more the fact that it looks like a budget deck. It looks like a something. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> it looks like a something. <laughs> Improve starter deck. Bye. So... What I do... I can start the loop next... Oh, I can technically start it now because I have another one. Next turn, we can no longer take damage, ever. All right, this is this could be stupid. Yeah, exactly, unless opponent has counter spells. I know. Now I now I kinda wish I had another. Alright. Yep. 
You see what the deck is doing now? This <laughs> My deck says no. Nope. My deck says no. Nope. Absolutely not. Nope. No? Yeah, the deck does nothing. Until we get approach of the second sun, it does nothing. You're right. <laughs> it just also prevents them from doing anything. No, this is a different one. This is completely different. <laughs> I have two... I have two things. Have two approach of the second suns, all right? Is this deck called blue balls? It is now. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Nope. Not enough mana. This is even worse than best. Of, yeah, this is fucking. This is annoying as shit. This may be one of the most annoying things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, so I cast this once, Narset's Reversal, and then just hard cast it again. So I need 7, 8, 9, 16 total. Or I just manually do it. two minutes ago uh no the copy doesn't resolve because it returns it to your hand it doesn't like copy copies don't copies aren't casts um But yes. And now we just do this. No, copies are not cast. Primals do not work. Primal amulet does not work. Primal amulet is a copy. Approach to the second sun. If the spell was cast from your hand and you've cast another spell named approach to the second sun, this game you win the game. If you copy Approach to the Second Sun a bajillion times, you are not casting it. See what I did there? Nice. Copies are cast, but not from your hand? That is incorrect. That is incorrect. A copy is not a cast. You can cast a copy. But no. Copies are not a cast at all. Copies are a copy. It's like kind of starting to maybe work, maybe? 
Just do nothing till you win the game? It's like a nothing burger with a bomb ass potato on the side. Yeah, and like two shots of vodka. While having a butt plug in your ass. Right? At that point, who cares about the burger? Am I right or am I right? I'm right. I know I am. Duh. <sighs> yeah, I'll... Holy shit. Oh, okay. That was a bit much. Huh. <laughs> Dying. I killed myself. Huh. Yeah, there was a leak for all the new shit. Which I'll go over here in a minute. Um... Yeah. Woo! Leave it alone. Don't you dare have an assassin's trophy. Don't you fucking dare. That's fine. That's fine. And that's nice. We can... We can pretty much go off. Not next turn, but the turn after that. Yeah, jumpstart seemed really cool. Opponent, could you please fucking not? Well, it turns out they didn't fucking want to not. Hmm. All right, great card. Absolute. Ooh, maybe I should. Mm. Like, maybe I should have shocked that in and then Narset reversaled it back to my hand, but. I think I need to shock this in and then just hold up Tefri's protection, right? There's, they can't do five damage in haste, can they? We win next turn. We win next turn. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. We're not even close to dead. Right? Skews. Okay. Good. Good. You skews, you lose. Beautiful. Okay, so we need five mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so unfortunately, this is all we can do. And then, bloop. Uh, let's go ahead and take that back. And let's go ahead and take that back. Yep. Can't touch this. What's up, Monty?
We have the con. Yeah, this is this is some horse shit. This is some horse shit. And yeah, they don't have any counter spells, so it's like, sure. What's up, Hen Hen? How's it going, baby? fucked up probably because he's everyone no my stuff no my stuff did we stroke today we haven't although that last hit just got me fucked up One, two, three. Okay, this actually works still. Yeah, perfect. Yes, yes. Yeah, and I only get one trigger on that, unfortunately, so... <laughs> Alright, we'll do a beard stroke here in a minute. infinitely reversal uh it would have to be like something free though let's just gain 14 life why not yeah why not sure hope they don't have like four thought seizes that would be unfortunate three one two three four and one two three four five six seven i can draw five cards next turn no wait i can draw six this is one two three four five six i draw that one and then one two three four okay yeah, okay, so I win next turn. That's Poggies. Poggies. Wait! But I was gonna draw all the cards, and then I was going to win. Why wouldn't she let me just win? Um... is 31st okay so oh yeah there he is i can get the boxes for the tier two and tier three subs like this weekend um so we can do the box opening not this saturday but next saturday being the 31st so i'm gonna re-record for the video voiceover for the video for that
What are you doing, opponent? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm scared. I am scared already. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, I could lose here. Yeah, I might be dead here. So I didn't have an untapped land. Ooh. Yep, Gruel Legends. I need to put Hour of Revelation in this deck. Yeah, I need, I really need to put Hour of Revelation in the deck. Hour of Revelation fucks this deck up. Let's kill those. White ley lines? Things are about to get real rowdy. Alright, well, I don't like any of this. I don't like any of this whatsoever. ever. Not at all. Not at all. Hmm. Now, I wonders... Me wonders... I don't know. Just gonna keep going for it. A little great henge action. Alright. I gotta really want our revelation in this deck now. Woo! Alright, what do we take out for our revelation? We already know we want it. Right? Maybe one day of judgment, but even then I don't think I wanna do that. I guess maybe a couple see the truth. I mean, I'm, hmm. Maybe. Cool. Cool. Lothus, nice. Fox Amber. Let's see if they kill themselves. That would be comical, now wouldn't it? <laughs> in the video game, in the video game, of course. Where do you see my mates? 
This one's been going around for a while. For the last, like, couple days. Rum Tea kind of broke this deck. Right? He was going crazy. He made... He was number... Did he plow to number one with this? I mean, he was playing it so much yesterday. He went, like, fucking infinity and zero. Some bullshit. Right? Yeah, he ended up putting a one of Jace. But we'll see if they have that. What is what what does the white ley line help me with? But he keeps saying that. What does it help me with? Predictions are up. I don't know what they're up for. Oh, predictions are up. Does the opponent have... Oh, does the opponent deck themselves? For grape shot. Well, we just... Tefri's protection. Yeah. If they have grape shot. And then they have to end up targeting their own creatures or whatever. Or attacks. Make a monkey. All right. Yeah, they can't. Um, I'm not dead, right? 10. I'm at 1, right? 6, 10, 15. Oh my god. Alright chat. It's official. I'm a little high. So my math skills are not going to be up to par. Yeah, one HP, exactly. I don't think we died a cloth this trigger, yeah. Don't believe we do. Dude, I do a burn spell, though. But I don't think they run burn spells. Thing is, I don't think they're going to deck themselves now. Because they have Clothis. We need to get a uh, uh, an approach to the second sun. Our set's reversal wins us the game, I believe. They're like, you're just delaying the inevitable. You're just delaying the inevitable. But no. I mean, I am probably just delaying the inevitable. Yeah, it does. It does phase me out. Technically. But yeah. Oh, you're talking about the actual, like, animation on top of me? Deck yourself. Deck yourself! Get decked on! Get decked on! It would be cool. 
Lazav with that little animation around it. Be sweet. Well, we win. We win. A GG's. <laughs> now, do we just force them to deck out <laughs> or <laughs> or do we actually try to win? <laughs> uh, uh, this combo is fucking obscene. It shouldn't exist. It shouldn't exist. Although I'm glad it does. I'm glad it does. <laughs> Wait, what did you just do? I'll show you what we do. We do this. Test Tefri's protection. We copy Narset's reversal. And we Narset's reversal our Narset's reversal, and then also Narset's reversal our Tefri's protection. So that we get our Tefri's protection, but we also get to keep it and our Narset's reversal. So we never, none of our permanents can go away. And our health total cannot change. Yo dog, I heard you like buying cards. <laughs> but, but I mean, we could just approach You think Brainstorm, Van, or any part of Historic Deck's bad? Um, I don't know, actually. I don't really know if it, like, hurt many decks, per se. <laughs> Sorry, opponent. <laughs> You are forever not touching me. <laughs> I have my whistle. <laughs> Go away. Matchmaking, even matchmaking ropes me. Sag. Iggy Zeal. Her. Waited five minutes once? Yeah, I think I would just leave the game and then come back. We do not win with this deck on the draw, apparently. We kind of do, but not really. We did once. <laughs> I would like to naturally draw land instead of having to look for one. Plus, I already have a shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer. Okay. This is fine. I think. Maybe. Aha! Aha! Riptorn Rory has been a citizen for those months. A year. I can't believe it's been a year. That is actually ridiculous. Thank you so much, Rory. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go pick up the boxes... sometime. I mean... He said he has them, like, now. 
shit. Not dead yet. This is the best I can do. They don't have their bard class. I need, but I don't have my, I don't have my Tefri's protection. But yeah, I'll be doing the box opening on 31st. So next Saturday. Aha! I will gain the life. I gained all the life. I need a Tefri's protection, like, right now. That was nice. Mike, can we still lose this turn? I think we can. Let's hope they don't kill me. Let's hope they don't kill me. Bruh. to not cast it? No. No, I cannot. No, I cannot. <laughs> nope, I cannot. <laughs> Alright, I was... It said you may. It said may. Alright, it said may. I, wa I wasn't sure. He's good. I have not lost to that deck yet, still. I feel bad for Rumty. I feel bad for Rumty. It's like his favorite deck. And I haven't lost to it yet. I feel really bad. At the end of the night, the deck ended up going 12 and 8. It did have a 60% win rate. It was really fun. I did like the deck a lot. Uh, it did need tweaks here and there, depending on what uh, we were running into. Uh, every once in a while, we just ran to a packet of control decks, which was very odd. Uh, so the Jeskai control decks do hit us pretty hard, mainly because they're just able to destroy our primal amulet, right? If they can just easily kill a primal amulet as well as ramp at the same time by creating a treasure, there's pretty much nothing that we can do at that point. Um, primal amulet is a key part of our deck. If we cannot flip the primal amulet at that time, if we can't keep it out for one turn and then protect it with a protection, or at least 
reverse their spell with a Narset's reversal. If we can't do that, then unfortunately we just cannot win. Um, and again, it comes down to the counter spells as well. Uh, so it's just, it's really, really annoying when we can't do anything about that, but it does happen. Uh, that's what I would say our biggest weakness is. Uh, unfortunately, we did lose quite a few times to Mono Red as well. I guess quite a few. We lost twice to Mono Red. I believe they were both Cavalcade decks as well. So it wasn't a uh, it wasn't a Goblin deck that we would lose to because we would definitely beat those with the authority of the consoles that we have. But Cavalcade decks, they don't really need too many creatures. If we're not getting board wipes, we just fucking lose. So that was the unfortunate event of those games. Uh, Mono Green, we don't have an issue with. The uh, Gruul Legends, we don't have an issue with because our Revelation uh, and Tefri's Protection, they usually just end up decking themselves or the Hour of Revelation just blows up everything and they're just devastated at that point and then we can win from our combo, right? Um, so there's not really any bad, bad matchups outside of the normal Grixis, because I could still never be Grixis. Uh, Rogues are pretty bad, I suppose, if they're running Memory Lapse and then milling right on top of that. Um, those, I would say, are the, the roughest matchups. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Come out with videos seven days a week.